All right. I'm uh, Eric Norden. I'm uh, from Butchersdeels Brewery in Amsterdam. Where, when uh, did you start and why did you start the brewery? Um, we started in 2011. Um, it's a bit of a strange story. I'm from Sweden originally. Um, got into beer over there. Um, but I suppose, yeah, Sweden is a bit of a difficult country if, if you're into beer. It's very difficult to sell and it's expensive. Uh, when this opportunity came up to, to start a brewery in the uh, Netherlands. So, uh, and what kind of beers do you brew and what's your philosophy in brewing? Yeah, philo I mean, I'm very much of a process-oriented brewer. I, I, I'm, I'm into fermentation and, and like different techniques. Uh, more so than the recipe. I think, the, it, yeah, it's more interesting to, yeah, to see what the yeast can do and what the, you know, you know, uh, all the small details. Um, Where? What's your background and why did you get into brewing? Uh, I'm a musician, and I, I think, yeah, I don't know. I think it's pretty much the same thing: music and beer. It's just that. What, what's the same about music and beer? I'm curious now. I don't know, in my head it is. Except beer is liquid and music is uh, vibrations, you know. And so you have certain taste notes that you strive for and certain uh, sequences? I always, I always think about music when I describe beer flavors in, in my head, so... Uh, well, yeah, describe the flavor of one of your top favorite beers. Uh, I know, it, it, I can't really, it's not that way, but, but in, you know, in the, in the sense of how flavor develops, it's very much like a piece of music. Or at least that's how I conceive it when I'm trying right. to uh, come up with something. And what's been the uh, acceptance of your beers? Like, what's your most popular beer? Is it sold in, mostly in the local area, or are you exporting now? We, up until recently, we were very locally based, and now we're expanding a little bit the last two years. What's the capacity? How much production? Uh, we brew now, I think, 600 hectoliters per year. And where do you go from here? Uh, what do you plan to do? I want to keep it relatively small. We can grow a little bit. But uh, yeah, given the way I work, it's a little bit difficult. I can't grow indefinitely. It has to be some sort of limit to it, I think. What, what do you mean by process? Does it mean that you're very much into the science? Or how, how does that differ? Uh, yeah, or the, or the magic, maybe. Uh -huh. so, I mean, I work with my own yeast. And I, which I pitch and, and harvest from batch to batch. And I work with open fermentation, uh, not wild, but like controlled open fermentation, which gives a completely different flavor than in a, in a closed tank. Um, occasionally I use closed tanks too, but, but it, you know, it's, it's a big difference uh, how the yeast behaves. And I think you can manipulate the yeast to create some interesting flavors, and I think that's, that's what I'm good at. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you so much for talking to the Beer Idiots, and uh, keep on doing what you do best. Thank you.